Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor right here, right now, and subscribe to our YouTube channel here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it, and I promise to update this channel daily. If you love this watch, you can see it, and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today, we are discussing what is easily the best watch in the better of the two 2018 Breitling Collection launches. The Navitimer 8 was competent but underwhelming. Few folks genuinely fell in love with the notion of a Navitimer that lacks a calculator bezel. The Premier, on the other hand, a late-year release, was a bullseye for the new Georges Kern regime at Breitling. CVC, your company is in good hands, and this watch is proof. Today, we are discussing the Breitling Premier B01 Chronograph 42, which is the flagship of the new collection. And as you can see, 42 millimeters in stainless steel on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, the watch channels the Premier collection of the 50s and 40s, but it does so in a modern size with modern fit, finish, and detailing. The watch is 49.7 millimeters lug to lug, so it's broad across the wrist, but not quite oversized. The watch is also 13.8 millimeters thick but generously sloped with a stepped back sapphire and a cambered curve to its edge so it will slide underneath most dress cuffs not just jackets but shirt sleeves as well the spacing between the lugs is easily the most modern dimension 22 millimeters giving the watch a modern footing and stance on the wrist let me zoom out for a moment so you can better see the watch in proportion to my wrist. This is an excellent option for folks who are comfortable with something like an Omega Moon watch. It wears almost identical to that. Let's talk a little bit about the strap, because the strap, like most Breitling straps, is a grade above what you expect at the price point. I would expect that we would get calfskin here with a contrasting stitch in the aviator's fashion that is Breitling's mode, but for the most part, we get not just alligator leather, but thick, bolstered, high-grade alligator leather, a sheer cut side showing just how much material was used, a contrasting stitch, wonderfully cut calfskin, and a very subtle and supple grade of it on the underside. You'll also appreciate that there is a full deployment clasp, and frankly, at the price point, $8,400, that's worthy. You should get this kind of a clasp on every watch that's priced more than a grand. Frankly, the marginal cost of adding it is small. Breitling not pinching pennies here. The case band is interesting because Breitling did a few new things. First, the traditional Breitling lug bevels, instead of simply being a flat, flare on the side of the lug, they are now wrapped around the ends of the lugs, and that's a handsome refinement that is a subtle one and easily missed, but much appreciated because Breitling sweated the details here. Appreciate the combination of polish and satin finish on the rectangular mid-century inspired pushers, as well as the fact that they are beveled and diminished from their cap. Appreciate the fact that Breitling invested in bespoke crowns for the Premier Collection. They have an incredibly sharp and deep knurling that makes them a tactile pleasure to use and so distinctive that you know eyes closed you're handling a Breitling Premier. I can't say that of many crowns. The case strakes are symmetrical from side to side, but they're more visible on the 9 o'clock side. Late Art Deco, mid-century modern cue, uh, design element that breaks up the mass and thickness of the case, and that's an important element and a wonderful piece of sleight of hand aesthetically. The bezel is all of high polish and stepped inward, and the crystal is box section and cambered to evoke a mid-century plexiglass. Let's get a little bit closer, afford ourselves a bit more light, and you can see just how three-dimensional that crystal is. The dial is a high-quality collection of parts, and I emphasize collection of parts. It has multiple layers and applique features, and I appreciate that. It looks and feels expensive. A double register design here, again, vintage is the inspiration, but modern is the materials. Let me see, have I not wound this one up? The timepiece features a stepped tachymeter scale outboard, and it is tone on tone. The nice thing about these watches is that when you have an in-house caliber at Breitling now, your visual cue is going to be tone on tone coloration. So registers that contrast with the dial base, tachymeter that contrasts with the dial base, but happily, a monotone date disc that matches the matte silver of the dial. Several different layers, you can see the countersunk registers, the upward stepped tachymeter scale, and the all applique metallic indices. Handsome and minimalist is the text. Rolex, take note. Case back. Breitling Caliber B01, albeit with 41 jewels and the twin register layout. But all of the toys. Appreciate the column wheel function selector, which is so crisp as to be the exemplar for column wheel action. Even a datagraph isn't this satisfying. This has competition only from Zenith Cell Primero, and that's some elite company. 
Now turning it all over, you can see that although mechanically finished, it's nicely finished. And this is one of the innovations of the new Breitling regime. Widespread use of display case backs, 100 meter water resistance. The watch features hacking or stop seconds, so you have the ability to synchronize to a reference time. And there's a quick set for the date. In addition to the column wheel, there is a vertical clutch engagement system. So when you start the chronograph, it starts without any jump or stagger. And if you prefer to leave your chronograph running to have seconds at center with minutes and hours, thanks to the vertical clutch, there is no additional wear and tear. And for watch nerds like myself, you'll note the use of Etacron. So it's very easy for a competent watchmaker to adjust this to run COSC again and again and again. And 28,800 vibration per hour beat rate plus a 70 hour power reserve superlative specs in every respect. You can see and purchase this Breitling Premier on our website. Breitling Premier B01 Chronograph 42. As you can see, hours and minutes only. 